Are you ready to hear this answer? Because this is a very common question problem. What to do with dog that destructively chews yet two hours of exercise a day on walks? Are you ready to hear this answer? Because this is a very common question problem and everybody, all dog trainers out there give the same answer, but I'm gonna give you a different answer and it's gonna blow your mind. So in my opinion, if you wanna have a great dog, if you have a good dog, you need to provide your dog's daily five essential needs, which are exercise, training, socialization, care, and affection, right? That's the formula. What you're doing here, you're providing exercise. I'm not sure if you're providing training, socialization, care, and then affection with your dog, but that should be fixed too. But number one clue here is that you're providing exercise, yes, but you're exercising your dog too much. Two hours of exercise of daily walks is just too much for any living thing. No living thing, especially predator type of breed of dogs, predator dogs who are predators, dogs are predators, they should not be walking two hours a day. Maximum, maximum for an adult healthy dog should be walking one hour a day. So what I would suggest you to do is reduce the exercise. Reduce the exercise from two hours to even half an hour for now. What I mean by that is when we have a dog who has this behavior, when we have an unbalanced dog, we have to do things properly with that dog. So in this case, what I would suggest is reduce the exercise to even half an hour maximum for now, for a few months, maybe two or three months, until your dog is nice and healthy and balanced, and then you can go up to an hour a day. So reduce the exercise, focus on more providing mental stimulation, which is training, and reduce the exercise, which is physical stimulation, add more mental stimulation, add some social stimulation which is socialization as well and then provide proper care and then affection then you will see this behavior is going to go away